What's going on, everybody? This is Sanak here, welcoming you back to a new episode of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the last episode, we completed up everything at the Snow Peak Temple, and in today's episode, we're just going to go ahead and collect more side quest things and everything, and today's episode is also in post-commentary, so if things seem kind of off in that regard, so... <laughs> Um, but yeah, in today's episode, we're going to go ahead and grab uh, a lot of, uh, a little bit more optional stuff like heart pieces and all that stuff in today's episode because there are quite a bit that we can grab right now. Um, I'm heading back through this little entrance of the snow peak area now that we have the ball and chain because there is a pole soul for us to grab here. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and take care of that real quick. Um, if you know, I can not get hit around like this so much. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's go ahead and just charge attack that. Not too bad. Alrighty, so another pose so down. Very, very nice. Um, like I said, I'm probably going to be getting all the ones that I missed off screen and everything and um, maybe just kind of include them in one of the videos as just like recorded footage because um, again, I think the 60 posals aren't worth it too much, but um i'm getting out of this area because um now we can actually warp up i believe to snow peak is where i'm going here where am i going no i'm not okay so we don't we don't handle that quite yet in this one but we'll be back to snow peak here in a bit Alrighty, here at um in near castle town we're just gonna go ahead and head over to uh the north i believe where um, I forget where it was, but it was um, kind of in the area where uh, there's a bombable wall to go ahead and get to the Zora's domain. Um, because now that we actually have the ball and chain, um, there is actual an area. There's an actual area that we can go in and kind of explore. Um, and just another side optional area as well uh, that we can go get a heart piece. So. The way to get there is just kind of warp to Castletown, head north, and then um, from there you just kind of head to these hill areas, and then there should be, I believe it's covered in ice, if not it's a bombable uh, wall that I think you can even use the bone chain to destroy. Yeah, it's right here. Okay. So I think I used the ball and chain here actually, which is actually pretty cool. That's a nice little thing to show that you don't need just bombs to do that. So, but here in this little area, there's, it's going to be kind of ice puzzles going on here. So, um, I'm going to be speeding the footage up here. So, Wow, wow, wow. 
So now that we got the last puzzle, uh, puzzle <laughs> the puzzle done, we're gonna go ahead and claim the reward here, which is the heart piece. Um, I might have cut up the footage, but leaving the room and coming back will not reset the f the puzzles. But I'm also gonna go ahead and just cut to Telma's bar here because we're just gonna also progress the story as well. Oh, how's that Ilya doing, honey? I'm sure that Shama will find a way to get her memory back. That Renato's a talented man for sure. Anyway, honey, you got your own things to worry about, so make sure you head do what needs to be doing right now, okay? Hey, honey, if you're up in the air, why, uh, why don't you go? Maybe you ought to talk to Russ. He's in the Hyrule Southern Wood right now, checking out the lay of the land. If you need any detailed di direction, just peek a peep at that map at the table. God, I cannot speak today. <laughs> uh, even in post-commentary, it's very, very uh, rough to commentate. I guess English is hard, but I wonder if the Sacred Grove is Russell, uh, that Russell mentioned is marked on that map. So I just came to go ahead and get this while we're in the area. So I think from here, um, I'm also going to go ahead and just teleport back to the, well, editing magic <laughs> all the way back to Snow Peak because there is another reward here for us that we can go ahead and um, claim, but we got to play some mini games first. So, um, but after completing the Snow Peak ruins, um, if you come back to the very top, you'll see that, um, Yeto and Yeta are back up here, so. Why feeling better, huh? Nice weather for sleds. You try, huh? Okay, so the whole objective is kind of like what you did in the beginning where you slid down. I'm going to speed this up too because it is kind of the same race as well. But um, first off, you have Yeto racing you. Um, he's not going to be too hard to beat. As you see, I do mess up here. Um, if you get next to him, he'll push you off as well. Um, but this one, there are a couple of shortcuts that you can take during this, uh, race that you won't need to take with Yeto. I'm going to show off the shortcut that's needed. So it's just this one here. Um, it's not too bad. Um, you just got to be very careful because the, the way I'm kind of swaying back and forth kind of shows the controls can be a little wobbly and I'm trying not to hit any of the walls, but thankfully here we beat Yeto. Not too bad, a minute and 20. Um, it doesn't really matter how fast you're going as long as you just beat them. Oh, you beat Yeto. Good, oh, worth, worthy sledder. Rematch, you go back to the top. So after coming back to the top and you come back and talk to Yeta, so now she will race you. However, she's harder. <laughs> and since she's a lot smaller than her husband here, she'll be sliding on her stomach and not even using a board. But she will use the shortcut that I showed off um, and it's kind of forgiving here because I did mess up there in the beginning anyway, and I think I still win this one. So these are nice little pass right there to get more rupees and stuff, but not necessary. But this is the shortcut that, as you can see, she's right there on my tail. <laughs> but thankfully, um, the time on this one wasn't too bad. Um, if you're going to see it here, so... Um, Right near the end here, I get it with a slither of a second. I beat it. I'm surprised that I won that. Oh, you good. I overconfident, maybe. Come on, progress the speech. I know she's speechless. You slimmer than husband, huh? Maybe secret to your... That your secret, your aerodynamic. Take this with token respect. So we got another piece of heart. So very cool. We need one more to get a heart container. Um, very nice, actually, so. I no tell husband. You come back and race any time, huh? So you can kind of come back and do that every time. They'll keep record of your, um, best time. So, 
a minute 20 is the best as I, I got that on both sides so not too bad but that's all that really is here for the rewards so I'm gonna go ahead and warp out back to um to the southern woods so I'll see you all there well to the northern fern woods but Alrighty, so now that we're here, we see that Russell's standing here. It's been a while since we took a walk in the forest, huh? Yes, and how our world has changed. Say. Do you know about the far side of the deep gorge? Some may say that it's an ancient temple deep in the woods that guards a sacred power. The ancestors of Hylians created this temple. Signs of their civilization. Ancient, but e very sophisticated are everywhere. If someone could obtain the power of those ancient people, well, I'm sure it would go toward a long way saving Hyrule. Link, would you take on this task? Would you cross the gorge and find the ancient power sleeping in the temple? <laughs> I knew you would. To cross the gorge, just use my partner here. I love this. Do you doubt my partner's skills? He flies like a dream, believe me. Well, you definitely make it across the gorge. Wait and see, my doubting friend. I love this golden cuckoo. So, I kind of cut here because I did fail. <laughs> so, you're just going to go ahead and use the, the golden cuckoo um, to fly to these little spots. Because, unfortunately, since he is here, um, Midna, you can't use the wolf jumping. So... And I don't think there's any wind blowing here, so just go ahead and use your gale boomerang to turn this bridge here. And I believe the mistake that I did, I thought you can jump across the bridge to the other side. But no, unfortunately, you're going to have to let go of the cuckoo and then spin the bridge one more time. Because since it is more on a level, the same level, you won't make it. But... Okay, man. Alright, there we go. Not too bad. Just gotta watch out for the logs. Logs by Blamo. <laughs> Yo, shout out to if you get that reference. To all my Ren and... Well, I'm not gonna... I, I think I spoiled it. Whatever. You get it. <laughs> um, but here we are. To the Sacred Grove. Very, very cool. So this is gonna be part two of coming back over here. Um, it's gonna be kind of similar to... Well, it's going to be similar in the way of how we first traversed this area. Um, so you're gonna see Skull Kid kind of come back and mess with us again, but it's gonna be handled the same way, so it's not gonna be too hard at least. I think he might take you a couple more, um, newer paths, if not in very similar paths. Uh, where does he go from here? Yeah, just make sure you just follow the light. Um, not too hard, but can get a little tedious, especially since, um, he keeps just sending the puppets to you. So. And I believe in this area, too, there should be another postal that we should be able to get in the area. Um, where is it? I don't know why I did that. <laughs> kind of sucks whenever um because i always like to do the control stick spin uh for the for the spin attacks so whenever it fails i kind of just like have to go beat them up one by one then or if they're not in the perfect circle to do that it, it's kind of annoying but he should be in this area here yeah so so just like that, and just like the other times, it's going to be rinse and repeat. You're going to have to hit him around until he takes you to the proper directions. I honestly love how peaceful the music is in this. Um, in this area. So, um, I really, really do love the soundtrack that Twilight Princess has for their game. Um, there's the postal that I was talking about. Um, you're gonna have to go past the- I think there's a little waterfall around here that we're gonna have to go back up here to climb it. Yeah, it's just right here past the waterfall. So thankfully we can go ahead and grab this postal while we're in the area. Alright. 
sorry if I do sound a little different because I am kind of under the weather. Um, got a, a another booster shot for the stuff, so just a heads up if it sounds a little different. But again, this is future me, I guess, doing post commentary. But here's the postal anyway, regardless. Um, the future, the next couple episodes that are gonna be coming back out will be normal commentary as well. So kind of weird to kind of go back to different commentary. <laughs> uh, I normally don't film post commentary unless I run out of time to, uh, I guess, commentate or don't have the time to commentate. Um, I just sometimes will do that and record the footage uh, and then just kind of commentate on another date, which kind of happens here, but I don't really like the style, not gonna lie. Um, but kind of curious if you guys make it to this part, how, if you guys are content creators, how do you guys prefer making your content? Because I know people do both and then they're streaming and all that different type of stuff too. So curious on how you all like to do it. Okay, so kind of an interesting little area. He's taking us to new places that we haven't been here the first time, so shouldn't be too hard to find them. But if you light up these torches here, another hidden chest will be here, so very nice. Um, I believe it's a stamp. Am I wrong here? No, it's some bombs. Okay, yeah, no, you'll need some bombs here, so nice that they um, provide those for you. I forgot why you'll need the bombs, to be honest. Um, but anyway, there is the Skull Kid. In that area, you'll need your arrows there. Um, I don't think this is the last time. I think we have... Because it, it ends up in the same area, um, or it kind of like in the same thing when we, what we did the first time, where you will have to fight him in the last central area. Uh, yeah, no, he kind of leads you on a chase on this one. Just make sure you follow the lights, and then uh, you shouldn't have too much trouble following him. Again, just the puppets are a little annoying, so I kind of just take care of them whenever I can. Sometimes you gotta do it with style, too. <laughs> um, come on. Um, I like this area a lot. Uh, the Sacred Grove is pretty fun, but I will say this is the tedious, the most tedious part of it is all. So it's just kind of uh, a little frustrating or a little annoying that they make you do this, but whatever. I think he should be, yeah, there it is. Okay. Come on. Um, okay. So there is the new entrance that we um, haven't been through here before. Um, I don't think you get anything for lighting those candles, so I think that's why I just kind of skipped over them. So I think he's taking us to the final area in this one. Okay, so he ends off in this area. Um, it's kind of... I think I remember, yeah, I remember this one. This one was kind of weird because you do have to climb um, up this area to go ahead and see him. He can be very hidden, and then you're going to need your bow to hit him in this one for sure. Uh, because he's going to be out of reach. If these puppets will die quicker, please. Yeah, you're going to see his light right there, so... Nice spots for hiding. Um, if you're a new player to this and having trouble finding them, yeah, it, it, I, I understand your pain. <laughs> okay, so I find it funny because I tried to chase him down, but yeah, no, he'll literally drop to the area and then just disappear really quick. Alrighty. Yeah, so this is going to be the final area that we're at. It's Again, it's like the same thing from before where um, you're going to have to defeat him here. Alright, 
So this one was a little weird because um, you're gonna have to use your arrows to get him from this one mainly. So thankfully the puppets, if you are running out of arrows, they'll go ahead and um, drop you some. But you do need to catch him while he's trying to blow on his little trumpet thing. Because if you do, he'll just kind of get out of the way and move to a different spot. So it's a little annoying. Come on, one more. Hope I don't miss it. Yeah, no, I got him on this one. Um, and I think he just needs one more. One more from here. Nintendo's magic number is three anyway, so... I think I missed the opportunity here. Yeah, it's kind of unfortunate. Little unfortunate, okay. So that should be the last one. Where is he? Okay. Thankfully I caught him in time. <laughs> Hee <laughs> hee, that was fun. I'll tell you what, I'll let you into my secret place. Okay, so he didn't open up this area before. Uh, well, he did. Never mind. I take that back. <laughs> um, so, well, not in this area at least. So we've been here before, but it's just a different section. It's kind of where we first got the Master Sword. So... Um, here we can go ahead and use this block to get in and out of this area. Um, because I don't think we come to the top portion of this anymore. We'll have the bottom section available to us, and now we can use that block to climb up here. So, the Sacred Ancient Forest. So this is what they were talking about. Alright, very insightful, Midna. Um, this one's kind of, I mean, not necessarily a puzzle, but... You do have to do a little bit to get this next portion of it unlocked. Um, I don't think it says what to do, but um, as you can see, there's kind of a door here. And, you know, once past me figures out what's what to do. Okay, so from here, now we just need to go over back to the pedestal. Um... Because now that we have the Master Sword, and what, I think what they wanted us to do was just go ahead and place the Master Sword back into its pedestal. For us to unlock the next way. Uh, the, the next doorway. Very nice. And super easy. Awesome. Alrighty, so while you're going back, you're going to be ambushed by uh, more of these twilight enemies that are going to grant you a new portal to this area, which is very good. And I, there's five of them this time, so it'd be kind of annoying. So, um, I, and what makes it even worse is that there are keys here to kind of distract you too. Oh, thankfully, I didn't knock out that one as well. So just kind of grab these last two and spin attack the area. Very nice. So thankfully we don't have to hear the reviving screech. Alrighty. So now with that teleport back here, um, that's going to be very useful because um, we do have a couple things that I want to take care of before we completely move on. So, but before, before we go, um, I do want to grab something in this new area that we're going to be going to. So let's just go ahead and see where this door leads.
if you, any of you have played Ocarina of Time and you're going to feel so nostalgic hearing that soundtrack here. So cool that they decided to do that. But I love the architecture here and how everything looks. It, it's just... Ugh. If you guys know... If you guys have played Ocarina of Time, you'll know where this place is. And what this place is in general. But if you can hear in the... You're going to hear the little glittering of the final golden bug. So we found the female snail. And with that, I actually want to go see Agatha real quick. So if we turn in every single golden bug to Agatha, um, she's going to go ahead and reward you with all the money, obviously. But for the final bug, she will give you this. Come on, come on. She will give you this. The giant wallet. So now we can hold up to 2,000 rupees, which is fantastic. So doubled our wallet size. And that's really it with Agatha, at least. So very, very cool that we were able to get that side quest done. And yeah, so that's all 24 golden bugs. And back here at the Master Swords pedestal at nighttime, which thankfully it does pass through here. Uh, there's another postal for us to grab here. So it has to be night, unfortunately. Um, it's not like how in the, the Lost Woods or the Sacred Grove you can go get the other one. But let's just go ahead and teleport back over here to the temple, shall we? And let's just go ahead and progress a little further. And as I believe this is where I'm going to go ahead and call the episode. But, yeah, I really, again, just marveling in the, uh, the temple's design and everything as well. It's really, really cool throwback because I believe in Ocarina of Time they were gonna they were gonna have a Temple of Time dungeon, but they didn't do it. I think due to time restraints and stuff, and plus you know the size of the game too. But anyway, let's go ahead and strike the pedestal like we would in Ocarina of Time. We were literally having a moment here of marveling in the uh, the Temple of Time, and here comes Uku to ruin it. But anyway, this is where I'm going to go ahead and end the episode off, guys. I do appreciate you all and the patience. Um, I do apologize for the delay in these episodes. However, um, we're going to go ahead and continue off in the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.